Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and welcome back to a new video. So I got this comment and I got asked how to make macro variation or prevent tie link on a mega scans material. So that's very easy. I downloaded this cracked asphalt material. It's really broken. And if I just slap this on a big surface, it gets tiled. I really recommend you to watch the macro variation video because we need this material in the tutorial today. So uh, let's go to this material we created in the tutorial is linked in the info card above if you don't saw it. And now I have created a macro variation texture myself. So this is a grass texture and I bumped up the contrast and I made it grayscale. So this can be any texture but it shouldn't be a flat surface it should be a rock surface or something or like I have a grass surface so let's close the tab and bring this macro variation texture in and we have a texture samples right here and we just need to plug this pin into the UV and this red pin into the A channel and delete the old texture and that's all and we do this for the others too. So this is done and we basically have a macro variation. And now we bring other textures in. So grab all of these and bring them in. And now search for the albedo. This RGB pin goes into the B of this. Delete this one. Now we have the roughness. So this goes into the roughness. The specular goes into the specular and the normal just goes into the normal. And this is a very simple setup. If you don't know how to set up normals the better way or displacement or something, watch my other tutorials and now you can just save your material. And yeah, so what we've done is just replaced the materials with the mega scans materials and our own macro variation and now you can grab your material create a material instance so you can change some parameters if you have parameters in your material and just drag this on your surface you like and yeah that's the way you prevent tiling on mega scans materials what i would recommend is if you have like rock surfaces this doesn't affect the material much so you have to mix your one rock texture with another rock texture so it looks better but for simple textures like asphalt or grass or something that have not much displacement it works really fine yeah i hope you like this quick tutorial if yes leave a thumbs up if no leave a thumbs down i'll see you next time and bye